Hey everyone, Bassman Strikes here. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you the difference between the GoPro user replaceable lens cover and the Insta360 user replaceable lens cover. So you can see here I've already replaced this one with one from this company and this is a, a CPL which I think they labeled it wrong because it doesn't have a circular mechanism in it but it's still polarizing so it has you know some usefulness. I mean, you can't adjust the angle, you know, based on the sun, but it's okay. So let's take a look at the GoPro one first. So you just twist and it comes off pretty easily. So you can see this, this uses a metal plate that they attach to the camera. Okay. And then their cover, it actually uses wires. So this is specifically mentioned in their patent. So their patent is not going to affect this one. There may be some other patent that would affect this one, the Ace Pro. Because if you remember, the Hero 8, they made it non-replaceable for that one year. right? And then they came out with the Hero 9 and it had this style. And that's the patent they got it. It specifically mentions these two wires. Right? And it does have an O-ring. Pretty good design. I'm not sure how robust these wires are, but that's what they came up with, probably to get around some patent. All right, let's set that aside. Now let's take a look at the Ace Pro. So when you get these third-party replacement covers, they include this wrench, and these, these do actually fit really good and snug. And I do recommend using this wrench because you know, your fingers can slip. So you just put it on and you go counterclockwise to remove it. Pretty simple folks. And you take it off and that's the mechanism they use. And let me be clear, the glue they use to prevent you from removing this is only applied in two points and it's a small dab, one here and one there. It provides absolutely no additional water resistance, right? They probably only did this to reduce service calls for people installing it improperly. Or like I theorized before, possibly a patent issue. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. And anyway, like I said, the O-ring in the cover is what provides all the water resistance. So if you do take yours off, you know, at your own risk, of course, always check the O-ring, make sure it's not pinched, flattened out, etc. If it is, use a different cover. These are cheap. You can get them on AliExpress. You can get a pack of four of ND ones and a CPL for $20. And you can also get a clear UV one for, I think, $9. So that's pretty cheap insurance, folks, and I really don't think these are going to leak. They're exactly the same as the stock ones. Same old ring. So let me know what you think in the comments. Does everyone understand that the glue they use provides zero water resistance? It's all this O-ring. All right, folks, so that's it. That's the comparison between the two cameras and their mechanisms used for the user replaceable lens cover. There's the Insta360 Ace Pro, and there's the GoPro. This is actually an 11. I don't have a 12, but it uses the exact same mechanism. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bassman out.